of July to the first of August. This year is going to be special because we are making the community where we celebrate the emancipation the focus of our celebration. For the first time, we are doing the launch in Cape Coast. And since it's about you, you see the many beautiful faces that grace the launch. For the first time, we are also introducing a variety show where we get a cultural crew and uh, other musicians to also perform. So we start from the 28th with the week laying at the boys, John Padmore Library, and then finally at Mamma to Mamma's on the 28th. On the 29th, we do the variety show. On the 30th, we do the, the Ascend Prasso, 31st, the Reverential Night, and then we climb us at Ascend Manso on the 1st. This year, we want many, many more people to participate in the emancipation because it's about us, black people on the continent and in the diaspora. Even as we invite people from outside of Ghana or black descent to come, we also entreat Ghanaians living here to also come. It is part of our domestic tourism drive, and we hope that all these beautiful groups, Kempon, Par Jones, with all these beautiful groups already organizing domestic tourism, should this time round organize their tour to coincide with the emancipation celebration here. All the people already loving the Explore Ghana project of domestic tourism. We also look at uh, the emancipation program. Unfortunately, university students are on vacation, so it's a good time to enjoy. Let all of us head towards Accra, Cape Coast, Asim Manso, and Asim Prasso for the various activities because, in doing so, growing our own tourism, and that's like we saying. Your domestic tourism is your best bet. Let's all go in. Tourism is your business, my business, our business. No one person can grow or develop tourism in this country. It's excellent the President of the Republic of Ghana has given all the support by even creating the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts so that we use culture and creative arts to brand our tourism. You see all the cultural activities that we do also drive our tourism. It drives local tourism, it drives international tourism. Nobody can do it alone. So please, everybody should head towards that place. We also know that tourism is business. It's not only fun. Because as we are even sleeping in Cape Coast, we are giving business to restaurant operators, transport operators, uh, hoteliers, and all of these people. We also want to leave money in the community. So come to Cape Coast at St. Marcus and leave money in the community. Be a very gorgeous tourist and then spend your money there. So I'm entreating everybody to carry the flag of tourism, culture, and creative art high. Today, I'm excited to see a combination of tourism practitioners, culture practitioners, creative arts practitioners here. Actors Guild is here, film actors are here, um, tourism trade associations are here. So it is good, it's a good blend, and together, we uh, lift tourism high. I'm also excited at the media presence here. We cannot do tourism without media. And I am happy that the local press this time has taken it upon themselves to come. We have bought media from Accra, and lots of media houses are here. I say, are you equal to all of you? Without you, tourism is nothing. But with you, tourism will go to where you want to go. Thank you very much. Yes, let's look at um, the theme. Emancipation has been here for a very long time. Why the focus on the youth? The youth is our present and our future. Anybody who takes the youth for granted is killing a certain nation. As a country, the president has said that the youth is our present and it's also our future. So we want to focus on them if they love tourism, if they love culture, if they are holding our culture high, then we know that it's not going to die. But if we focus on the old people, when the old people are no more, then we would have died with our culture. So we need to bring young people to love culture and so that culture will be sustained perpetually. Yes, thank you.